Hi, welcome to Shelly's Studio, and today I am arting along with Barb and Shannon. So, um, Barb Owens had Shannon Green on her YouTube channel, and just kind of interviewed her, and they chatted about art and stuff. And while they did, they both painted, so I am following along and painting while they are, while watching the video. Um, I did not see the live one, I just watched the video. Um, the colors I'm using are Delta Ceram Coat Lime Green and Craft Smart Lavender. And then the other one that I've got on there, I believe, is the Tuscan Teal by Apple Barrel. And I just filled up a lot of the space with the colors, trying not to make mud. I decided to little, add a little bit of white, and that is by Apple Barrel, and it's just white um, in there to get some lighter shades going. And, you know, for quite a while I don't like it, but in the end I love, love it as an ATC card. <laughs> okay, it's a whole bunch of ATC cards. But um, I do add some black so I can get some deeper, darker areas, and I just kind of Smush that around with a scruffy brush. Just to get something a little different. And the next thing we did was um, add some stamps and stamp around the page. And I have this group of alphabet stamps that I have washi taped together so they make a big stamp block and I'm using Rangers archival ink in black and we're just gonna stamp that around around the page and basically um, what we're doing is just creating sort of an overall background type page I was really quite surprised. I mean, their video lasts a long time, but the actual time in painting this um, was quite quick. I do have it you know, double speed, but I had time to sit and listen to their conversation. we have enough alphabet. So now this is a stamp I made out of um, an eraser. I just carved along the long side of it and made some diamond and half diamond shapes. I just stamp that around the page. And then this is another homemade stamp. This is a bird. I have a couple of different bird patterns that I created. And I will put a link to that video too, so you can see, if you're interested in making your own stamps, um, you can see that video and how I created those birds. And then the next step was to stencil. So the stencils I'm using are paper, so they just, you just let the paint build up, I guess. Um, and I got them like in bulk, in a bulk package at Joann's on clearance. So I do not have um, a brand name or um, you know, I don't think you can find this package since it was on clearance and it was a while ago before I started videoing so I wasn't thinking I needed to keep the brand. But I really do like this honeycomb pattern. And I am doing just doing that in white, picking some darker areas to put the stamp. 
stamp on, or the stencil on. Then I pick another one. This is also another paper uh, stencil. And I just mixed a little bit of the blue with the white. So I'm keeping it all in the same color range. Um, just varying it a little bit. Add a little white to the blue so that um, it would show up if it was on light and on dark. Hopefully. Mostly shows up on the dark. And this one, another one in that set, is a chevron pattern. And this one is the Tuscan teal, is what I'm using. And just, I'm just kind of keeping them all going the same direction. I should have alternated one, but I was thinking all one direction was cool. And the next thing we did was collaged elements and this is napkin I got at Ikea and I just love how the um, napkin background just disappears right into the background um, it's, it had three layers I pulled off all the extra layers and you have to be careful because it is very thin but I just love how it disappears and it comes in a black and kind of a blue color. thought the blue kind of went with the Tuscan teal, so decided I would use it. Put it in some random places. After I do that, I start tearing little chunks out and just sticking the little chunks, which I really liked. I think I would have rather have done little chunks than that big circle that I stuck right there on the page. See, I'm doing that one. I'm like, I've already got too much. So I do tear it up and put a little bit on. I did have a, I wanted to do more than one thing, so I did put a couple of pieces of the Tim Holtz tissue paper on, just so it have a variety. Let's see, here's where I just start putting little chunks, which I like. Especially because they disappear. The background disappears. Try to stick that down. Okay, and now they said to use a fine liner or a marker or something. And I have these um, paint writers. They're not the greatest, um, but they work. I couldn't think of what to doodle, so I did spirals in random places. And I have one in black, and I also have one in white, so I do do the white. Now I have a lavender colored marker. I thought I would try it in some of the light areas, kind of bring that lavender back, but um, I would have much rather had a lavender paint pen. <laughs> so, oh, they suggested you should turn it around and make it not go one direction, but when you have birds on there, it kind of goes one direction. So I did turn it around, trying to see spaces that might need a little something. This is my Sharpie poster paint pen. I accidentally went over the bird's face, so we wiped it off. So I just put a few little squiggly lines around. I need to put something on the big black polka dot circle I've got going there. Especially if I decide to cut it up, right? Now we've 
turned it back around and I decided I needed something so I got out some yellow and I'm just stamping my you know it reminds me of a bow tie stamping my bow tie around the page in yellow just to add a little spark of color But it was fun to do that, watch that interview and paint along with them. And I love the little individual close-ups. I think it would make great ATC cards or maybe even little um, note cards, just a little bit bigger than ATC. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you liked it, please hit like. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. And thank you for watching.